Sean Haney here with RealAgriculture.com, and we're at the Western Canadian Dairy Seminar in Red Deer, Alberta, and right now I am joined by... Raylene Bamer. From HiPro. From HiPro, yes. So you enjoying the show? I am, yes. It's a great show. Great talks this year. This may seem like a bit of a strange conversation for a dairy conference, but we're going to talk about canola. Oh, I don't think that's strange at all. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got, <laughs> let's say, 20 million acres of canola growing across Western Canada. It really is a, a real success story for Western Canadian agriculture. Does canola meal fit into a dairy ration? Oh, definitely, yes. For sure in Alberta. You, uh, yep, we are in the heart of canola here. Um, I, and not to diss soybean meal at all, but it, the economics just doesn't work for an Alberta dairy. You can use a lot of canola meal in your ration, three to five pounds a day. I work in pounds, sorry, still That's old fine. school. Probably a lot of um, listeners do too. <laughs> but when we optimize a dairy ration, it truly does pull in a lot of canola and not very much soybean meal. That would that's just the way a dairy ration works. And do you see increased milk production by having canola meal in the ration? I, I, we see increased milk production by having a balanced dairy program and canola meal can be part of that. So every dairy program is unique depending on the forages on the farm but when you balance it all like I say typically a balanced program will pull in anywhere from three to four to five pounds of canola meal okay. per cow per day. Yeah so you know, because I, I have heard in different uh, different discussions that you know some people have a real preference for soybean meal. So, what is the what is the difference between the two? In my mind, nutritionally, um, as far as the rate of protein degradation, that's how I think about it. The solubility of it, there's not a lot of difference. Other than soybean meal has higher protein, but your cost per unit of protein is always better with canola meal. I believe way back in the day there was a perception that soybean meal was much more palatable. So when we think of the days of uh, when we were hand feeding the grain rations and or all everything was fed in a parlor, palatability was a huge concern. Now when we have everything in a TMR or mixed with silage, palatability is not as big as a concern. And in my experience, I haven't even seen this palatability issue that people felt was there between the two products. So canola meal has always worked really well in all the diets that I've done. Well, thanks a lot for joining us today, Raylene, and enjoy the rest of the conference. I will. You too. Thank you.